Okay, so the first thing I have to show you guys is just a white scarf. It's just really long and white. I think I got it from Forever 21, and that's pretty cheap. And then this one has butterflies all over it. Uh, we wear a lot of dark colors in the fall, so this is like a good contrast because it still has like some dark colors in it. See? I got a lot of stuff at H&M. I got these, uh, this five pack of socks. They're cotton, um, but they have like little like knitted detailing right here. See that? And they come in five different colors and they're very fall. Fall related is the word I was looking for. Then I got these, uh, they're from H&M. They were $5.95, the maroon tights. And then H&M has a lot of uh, little hats right now, but I just got two of them. I was going to get one that was like this one, this gray one. I'll show you this one first. Um, it's $5.95. It's just like a gray beanie, and like you can you know unfold this. I wanted the maroon one, but for some reason all the maroon ones, like they were the same cut, but they fit really weird on my head. So I said, never mind. And then I got just a white one that has like, I don't know, it's like knitted or whatever. Throw them over my head when it gets cold. Now here are some of the clothes that I bought. Um, this bandeau, it's just a black lace bandeau and it has like little, those little like flimsy circle pad thingies on the inside. They're not very thick or anything. Um, I just wear this underneath my sheer shirts. And I like this bandeau because it has like the clips like a regular bra does. Um, so it's like supportive and it stays in place. My boyfriend got me some skinny sweats from Victoria's Secret. They're kind of wrinkly right now. But they just have the 49er logo on it because I'm from the Bay and I am a 49ers fan and he's a huge 49ers fan. And then it says on the leg, at the very bottom it says pink and red. So that's that. From Forever 21 I got this sweater. It's just all pink. And it says heartless on it. I know, whatever. But I like it. I like the cut. And it's really soft. And it doesn't tell me what it is. Okay. It's really soft, so I like it. I got another sweater from Forever 21. They have a bunch of these. Either they're like, you know, a Smurf or something. But this one I like the best. It was the Strawberry Shortcake one. It's kind of like, not cropped really, but it's just shorter. It goes like right at your waist, which is like kind of what I like. I like that better than like a regular sweater. And this shirt is from Forever 21. I call it my Pebbles Flintstone shirt because that's what everybody calls me when I wear it. Or a watermelon. On the back, it has like a little bow. Hello! Um, it has a little bow and has polka dots all over it. My jean jacket. This is the back of it. And this is the front. I just have like this shirt underneath just because I'm running out of hangers. But um, I got this at H&M. Yes, I got it at H&M. And I think it was like... $30, I want to say. It's a, it's a jean vest. Sorry, it's a jean vest. And here's this sheer top from February 21. It has lace at the top, and then it's just all sheer and loose at the bottom. The sleeves are, like, really, like, big, like a butterfly. Next is this button-up shirt. It's kind of sheer. The top part of it is sheer. It has a collar. And then this bottom, like, basically, like, three-quarters of it is more not see-through. I don't know how to say that. It's like a regular shirt. I showed this in one of my other videos, my last video, I believe it was my back to school outfits video. It's a blazer that I got. I got it from Nordstrom. It was a little pricey. It was, I think, $50. But I love it, love it, love it. And the last thing that I have, hold on, it's all messed up. Okay. The last thing I have is this sheer shirt. I wore it on 4th of July. It's red and has little blue roses on it. I'll show you. And it has like the little peekaboo shoulder thing and then, you know, just the short sleeve. It's button up and it has two little pockets. I don't know how much it was, but I know it was at Nordstrom and I'm pretty sure they still have it in stock. Okay, so I went to Bath and Body Works and I got my boyfriend some like, uh, what was it, hair gel? It was like a hair gel and slash body gel. And then I got him like a, mat well not a matching lotion, but it was like a men's lotion. And I got him like two candles and two hand sanitizers because I had a deal for all of those things. They had like the best deal, so I spent a lot of money on Bath and Body Works, but that's okay. First, for myself, I got this Paris in Bloom body lotion. It's their, from their signature collection. Um, it smells like, it almost smells like sweet pea. Like a lot of people like sweet pea. I love sweet pea, but it ha I don't know, it's just a little different. And then I got this other uh, body lotion. 
It's Dark Kiss. I've had this before, but it was in like the little travel size. So I wanted a bigger size. It smells like a little more seductive. I don't know, it just smells really good. I'm not really good at explaining smells. And I got myself a shower gel. This is my favorite uh, shower, or not shower gel. This is my favorite like signature collection of theirs. It's Sensual Amber. It just smells like fall. Like it smells like straight up fall. Or autumn. Whatever. I also got some Sweet Pea. Um, it's their fragrance or whatever signature collection. Everybody should know what Sweet Pea does smell like. And if you do not, then you need to take a trip down to Bath and Body Works. I got from uh, Victoria's Secret the Pink with a Splash uh, Warm and Cozy. It's a body mist. It smells really good. It smells like... Hold on. I'm going to really try and describe this one. Okay. It just smells really fresh. Like, it just smells really good. I don't know how to explain it. My boyfriend bought me the Garnier Fructis, the Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector, the BB Cream. I have mine in light to medium. It has an SPF 15 on it, which is great. And I actually really like this. Um, I don't like use a whole lot. I just use like maybe like a pea size. It It is buildable and I don't know, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't last very long. So I will go to school and then I'll come back and I'll have to like put my makeup back, makeup back on. Um, that's the only downfall to this, but I really, really like this one. It's a very nice BB cream. Thank you, babe. From Target, I picked up the Revlon Just Bitten um, little lip stain, lip balm, whatever it is, in Frenzy. Um, I don't know. I tried to put it on my lips and it just kind of comes out as like I just drew like marker like the streaks of like a marker on my lips it doesn't look very good tell me what you guys think about this brand or this like you know this lip stain I know there's like a thousand out there because it's like the new thing or whatever I personally don't like it so this is like not a product that I would buy again and then I also have this Ulta cheek color it's in glow I've had this for a long time so I don't know if they would have it anymore but I think it's like just the perfect color for fall like look at that it's like not too bright, but not too dark. Love it. And then from Urban Decay, I got this 24-7 waterproof liquid eye... I didn't know it was waterproof. A liquid eyeliner. Um, it's just a black liquid eyeliner. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Like, sorry, backwards. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Like, and I just got the black one because I use black the most. I was going to get this. They have this really pretty navy blue color. And, like, this is the applicator... And it's just like, I don't know, it, you can just really draw anything on um, very easily. Um, but they have like a, a navy blue one that I highly, 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 highly recommend because I love it so much. One of the hand sanitizers that I got myself is the Midnight Pomegranate. And it just smells like pomegranate. Like, this is so simple. I can just tell you what it smells like. But it smells really good and I use that on all the time. I also got myself from Bath and Body Works a sweet and sassy hand sanitizer. It just smells like really girly, like really like fruity. I'm not very good at describing scents, so don't judge me. Whenever I am at Forever 21, I always, always end up buying something from that little section where like they try to just get you at the last minute. They put it like in your face, like it's not my fault. But I got this like sparkly green, it's like a black sparkly green uh, nail polish. It's called Black Green. I tried it on and it comes out like really dark, like it almost looks black. But in the light you can tell that it has green in it. So I think that's really pretty. My favorite nail polish of all time is the China Glaze uh, Ravishing Darling. Um, that's really what it says. Like it says darling. See? Anyways, um, it's my favorite color uh, for nail polishes. I have it on my fingers. Yes, I know. I need to redo them or whatever. Uh, but this is my all-time favorite and it's great for fall. So I bought two of these uh, Revlon Lip Butters. Um, I don't know where the other one went. and I, It was like a pinkish color, but this one is great for fall. It kind of melted in my car, but that's okay. It's like a berry red, and that's what I like about it, because I have an olive skin tone, so like the berry colors look really good. They, like, they complement my face. I mean, what doesn't complement my face? And then the other day I had to pick up some girl products, if you know what I mean. It came with this. I got the Target brand. It came with this little container. And you can put four little friends in there. 
Um, it's just like a little tin can, but the outside feels like that like soft, really smooth, uh, hard, rubbery kind of feeling. Um, but it's really cute. It's like pink and green polka dots. Like, who doesn't love that? Watch out! Wait, it's backwards. Let's try that again. Watch out! Oh my god, this is my favorite purse ever. It was kind of expensive, but my grandparents bought it for me. Thank you. Um, it's a Judy and Burke purse. It's red on the inside. Yes, I have lots of stuff in it, but that's what being a girl is all about. So I wanted to show you all of my uh, EOS, the Disney edition, lip, um, EOS lip chapsticks, whatever. I just wanted to show you guys these. Um, so, okay, I got it, I swear to you, I got it before, you know, Dulce Candy had it, I got it before, who else had it? Uh, Mac Barbie had it. I got it before them, I swear, but um, I just didn't make a video about it. So, this one smells so good, they all smell really good, I'm not going to get into detail about the smell because we know that I can't describe a smell, okay? So that is it for my fall haul, uh, maybe I should call it, call it my autumn Haul. Preparing for autumn haul. Yes. Okay. That is all for my preparing for autumn haul. Um, if you would like, I can do a back to school, like, uh, so school supplies, you know, little video. Because I got a lot of school stuff. Like, a lot of school stuff. Girl, I got a lot of school stuff. So I think it'd be really cool if I showed you guys, like, everything that I got. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below or thumbs up or whatever. We'll talk to you guys later. Mwah! Bye. So when I was at Forever 21, I always, okay, whenever I'm at 21, I always, whenever, okay, so whenever I am at Forever 21, I, okay, Sarah, I don't know why, but I've been looking for some maroon tights, okay, that was weird.